All right, guys, today we're going to talk about the WowTech A2S. Now, WowTech, of course, are the same folks who make the A Tactical Lights, which have pretty much kind of taken YouTube by storm with just the quality of lights that they're putting out in that uh, $20, $30 price range. Now, you know, being this is a new company and they are basically working under the guidance of Thrunite, and so what they've been able to do is produce a light very cheaply using, you know, from what it looks like through nice designs and assistance and uh, passing that along to us at a really good price. Now they have basically the A Tactical A1 and A1S and they followed that naming scheme with the WOW tag which is the A2 and the A2S. And how it works is the original one, the A2, A1, are the uh, lower lumen, the less power versions and the A1S and the A2S are the ones with, you know, higher lumen ratings and more power to them. And of course the price difference between the two sets of models are about $10. So your base model is about 20, your upgraded models are, you know, around 30. Of course that'll change as time goes on. So if you're watching this video um, down the line, that can be different. So we're gonna talk about the numbers here for the A2S and we're gonna do a little quick comparison with the A2. Alright, we'll give you a good focus here. So what you can see here is we have a range from basically a Firefly mode, which is a third of a lumen for basically two months, up to a turbo of 1,050 for 2.7 hours. Now that is not a true reading there. There is a step down after a couple of minutes, so it's going to step down to that 400 lumen mode in order to get that uh, 2.7 hours. If you were to uh, run that at 1,000, you would need about three, three and a half amps, you know, so you really only could get a, an hour out of a full-size battery if, if it was running that the whole time. But like I said, it does step down. So you got your medium and all that. Everything else you expect with these, you know, you have the IPX waterproofing. Um, you cannot use CR123s in this, XPL V6. So it is a very up-to-date um, LED. There's, I don't think there's an XPL that's a higher bin than the uh, V6. Well, it's IPX7. Uh, I think I might have said 8 there. So how does that compare to the A2, just the plain model? We're going to take a look. Um, what you're going to see, your Firefly is the same, and your low goes from, you know, 24 down to 12. Your medium goes from 126 to 66, your high goes from 420 to 210, and your turbo over 1,000 down to 550. So essentially the power is cut in half. And uh, also note that the A2 uses the XP G2 LEDs. Very slight difference between the two of them. Uh, the XP G2 is an older LED. The XP G3 is now out, uh, versus the XPL V6 is you know probably the most up-to-date you're gonna get as far as that. Now they're both small LEDs. They're small in comparison to the XML2 and other similar uh, four volt LEDs. Um, their they're smaller uh, footprint means better throw, which is the beam travels further on the light. So let's take a look at the actual construction here now that we've talked about those numbers, what you have. And this light is primarily a headlamp, by the way, guys, which uh, I will show you. It just has a very simple, friction fit headband so that way you can kind of slide it around move it around as you want which is kind of cool um you can use this as a 90 degree light or you can use it as a headlamp your choice all right button on the top it is a little bit proud so if you do bang it against something it will turn it on you have a uh, stainless steel bezel there with a smooth reflector. The glass is not the best anti-reflect. I mean, I can see a little reflection in there, so it's not the best anti-reflective. You know, typical aircraft, great aluminum body, knurling. End cap is smooth, nothing on there. Very simple design. How it operates, also very simple. From uh, You're literally just gonna click it to turn on. Long press to cycle between your three modes which is your low, medium, high. All right, now to get to moonlight, you need to have the light off, long press, and that brings you to turbo. Turn the light off again. 
Now, if you are, I believe you can access it from off. Yep, uh, double click brings you to turbo. Another double click brings you to strobe. There is no, and I'm sorry, not strobe, SOS. There is no um, strobe on this, which many people do prefer. So very simple to use. Like I said, you're just long press to cycle through, single press to turn on and off, and then your quick access to your moonlight and turbo from the off. Any other time, you can just double click and you go to um, that. Let's take off the end cap here. Now, it might just be me, but I feel like the spring is a little thinner quality than the A-Tacticals. Uh, I feel like the A-Tacticals had these really big, beefy springs. Um, these ones here, you know, they don't even look coated. They're kind of a little thinner than what I'd like. Um, you could probably, if you're a flashlight modder, definitely uh, mod in some copper braid, and that would probably help considerably with, uh, with resistance with the flashlight. It does use the uh, 3400 uh, milliamp hour rechargeable battery and it has that little USB port here. I'm not a fan of these batteries. I will be completely 100% honest. I think there's much better batteries on the market. I know it's a freebie that comes with the flashlight, um, but typically I don't use these. I put it in for the review. I'm just not a fan of them. I just, I would rather use the better high performance batteries. That's just me. Oh, another difference is the uh, base model has a 2600 versus the S version has a 3400 milliamp hour. So you do get uh, a better battery if you are using that stock battery. It simply just plugs in with a standard mini USB there and there's a little red LED on top that lets you know when it's charged and uncharged. All right, you can see you have anodized threads that came lubed and O-ring sealed. The end there is not anodized, that's where it makes metal contact. Um, nice thick tube, you can see the base there. Uh, the, the driver inside has a brass button as opposed to a spring, so it may be a little sensitive when it comes to battery length. I haven't had any issues. I've tried a couple different batteries and not had any problems. Um, mostly because these uh, protective batteries are much longer. So for example, we're gonna put in uh, the shorter battery. Let's see if that will. I actually have not tried this battery yet, so it'll be a surprise. It works. So it's not very sensitive, um, but if you have some really short, unprotected batteries, it could be an issue. You might get a little, little rattle, but not in this case. Um, so just something to be aware of, because there is only the one spring, and that's probably compressed pretty much down to nothing. So overall, guys, you know, I think, you know. A tactical wow tech, whoever you really are, um, you know, they're really putting out good quality for the money. The fact that you can get a good thousand lumen quality light for 30 bucks is really something, you know, a battery included too, by the way. Um, even though those batteries are not my favorite, you know, those are, you know, five, six dollar batteries. So with that, you know, you have good options with the A-Tactical A1. You know, you have a good tube style flashlight. And this here, you do have a very good headlamp that you can do as well. So you can very easily set yourself up with a very good kind of system where you can use these. And for, you know, 60 bucks, you can have your bases covered, which is a good budget option as far as I'm concerned. I figured since this is a headlamp, I should probably show you how that goes in there, huh? <laughs> so it goes into the headlamp, uh, very simple. It's just friction fit, so you can just kind of move it via friction. Uh, these are nice, the only thing is when it gets really, really cold, these do get brittle and break easy. That is something to pay attention to. But other than that, guys, I'm really you know a big fan of what these guys are doing. The performance on these is pretty good. Like I said, there is that step down out of turbo, um, but 99% of lights on the market have that because you know running at three amps for an hour is just going to generate too much heat for these things to be able to handle so overall guys great deal great price these guys just keep knocking out of the park and hopefully they continue to come out with new lights and uh, continue this uh, kind of cheap and more expensive version that way people have options they can choose so hope you guys enjoyed